What's up YouTube, it's Onion Bomb here, and welcome to my NFL game predictions for the week. This is week number 3, but before we move on, let's go back and recap week number 2. Week number 2, we went 12 and 4, which is not that bad at all, it is actually really, really good. And that makes the overall 12 and 4, because as you guys know, uh, I missed week 1, I did not start this series until week 2. But yeah, let's see what games we got right and wrong. Texans, Bengals. The Texans won. I got that right. Panthers beat the Bills. Got that right. Buccaneers beat the Bears. Got that right. Steelers beat the Vikings. Got that right. The Cardinals just barely beat the Colts 16-13. to I just barely got that right. Patriots beat the Saints. Got that right. Ravens beat the Browns. Got that right. Chiefs got the beat the Eagles. Got that right. Titans beat the Jaguars. Got that right. The Raiders beat the Jets. Got that right. And then the Dolphins beat the Chargers. I got that one wrong. But I knew it was going to be a close game. It was 19-17. to 17. Uh, Almost almost went 13-3, and three, but just barely. And then another one I had trouble picking. The uh, Broncos beat, completely scraped the Cowboys 42-17. to 17. I wasn't expecting that. I thought that was going to be a closer game. I did get that wrong. So... Almost. Uh, the Seahawks beat the 49ers just barely, though. 12-9. to Almost got that one wrong, but I did get that one right. Uh, Redskins beat the Rams. I got that wrong. The uh, Falcons beat the Packers. I got that wrong. And then the Lions beat the Giants. I got that right. So that adds up to 12-4. and But that was last week. Let's go in to week number three with my predictions. There's a bit tougher choices than last week, uh, at least in my opinion. But yeah, let's just get into it. All right, so week three of the NFL regular season, starting it off with Thursday night football, the Rams versus the 49ers. I'm going to say the Rams win this one. Last year, the 49ers only had two wins, and they were both over the division rival, the Rams. I don't see that happening again this year. I see the Rams at least being the 49ers once. The 49ers don't look that good. Um, they did do something against the Seahawks, so they could get this one. But I just I think the Rams got it. But yeah, let's move on uh, to Sunday. The Ravens versus the Jaguars. I got the Ravens as much as I want to see the Ravens lose. I think they beat the Jaguars. I don't see why they don't. Uh, Jaguars aren't, aren't the best team, and the Ravens are looking really good, especially defensively right now. So I, I got the Ravens for that matchup. Then we got the Broncos and the Bills. I have the Broncos. Uh, yeah, Broncos are just a better team than the Bills, and the Broncos stomped the Cowboys, but the Cowboys are a pretty good team, so... Yeah, the Broncos are looking pretty good, so the Broncos definitely got that win over the Bills. And next, the game I will be watching because it's my team, the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Chicago Bears. Even as a Steelers fan, I mean, even if I wasn't a Steelers fan, I would pick the Steelers. I do pick the Steelers right now. Even putting bias aside, like I said, Steelers just have a... A better team than the Bears. The Bears took a pretty massive L to the Buccaneers last week. However, they they did put up a fight um, against the Falcons. So they still have that going for them. But I don't see them beating the Steelers. Maybe they can compete with the Steelers like they did with the Falcons. I just don't see a victory. And then moving on, the Panthers and the Saints. I have the Panthers. Uh, the Saints are lo looking a little bit uh, wobbly. Um, with the Vikings, I mean the Patriots is understandable that, but the Vikings lost. I don't. Know, they just seemed. Uh, they just seem out of sorts, and uh, the Panthers seem more tuned in. So I think they got this one. Uh, yeah, there's really nothing else to say about that one. Um, next up, Buccaneers and the Vikings. I have the Buccaneers going for this one. Um, the Buccaneers are. A game behind everyone else with like the Miami Dolphins because of Hurricane Irma. They had their bye week, week one. Um, and yeah, the Vikings 
I, I'm I'm not sure um, if Sam Bradford's going to return or not. If he doesn't, the Buccaneers will definitely beat them. But if he even if he does, I think the Bucs are still going to beat them. Which, uh, kind of... I want to give a little bit of a side note real quick. I'm not always going to know what player's injured and what player's, like, not playing. What player... Just, like, or what player returned from injury. Like, I'm not always going to know that. So, if I base a prediction off of something that either isn't true... Like, for example, I think last week I said, uh, Odell... Odell was out. I'm not sure if he was, like... If he was thought to be out but came back in, he did end up playing the game against the Lions. The Lions still won, so I still got that one right. But still, like, something like that, I might I might mess up. I'm not perfect, and I don't really keep up with teams all too that well. Um, and unless they're the Steelers, yeah, I, I can... I can be called an idiot for not knowing what's going on with the Steelers. But any other team, I'm sorry if I don't know what's going on with them injury-wise. But maybe I will, maybe I won't. But yeah, let's just get back into this, guys. Um, next game, we have the Browns and the Colts. Guys, I'm going with the Browns. I'm saying the Browns are winning this. I know, I know. But the Browns are definitely a better team than last year. Uh, I don't want them to be. I... I, I liked having them like roll out. They're still not a good team. They're still not like playoff compatible, but they do they're not really one in fifteen. They're 0 and sixteen. I I think they got a decent like at least like no more than five wins, but they still five wins. Especially Andrew Luck got rolled out of this game. I I did I think the Browns might win this and surprise a little bit of people. The Colts definitely could win this. Uh, but I just, I have a feeling the Browns are going to end up winning this. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Next game, Dolphins and Jets. I have the Dolphins. Jets look like the worst team in the NFL right now. Um, so yeah, the Dolphins are pretty alright. I think the Dolphins are winning that. Next up, Texans and Patriots. I have the Patriots. I feel like the Texans' defense is going to put up a decent fight against the Patriots. However, I just I think that it, they won't stop them, shut them out completely. And I just, I think, I think the Patriots are winning. Maybe Deshaun Watson can step up and beat the Patriots, but I th- it's not impossible, but I think most likely the Patriots are going to win that. Uh, then next we have a game that's going to be pretty interesting to watch. The Falcons and the Lions. That's a, that's going to be a pretty good one. I think it could go either way. However, I'm going to say the Falcons are winning that one. Uh, I don't know. The Falcons don't immediately, at least right now, don't look like they're, they're, ha- they're in Super Bowl hangover. They almost, um... They almost lost to the Bears, but they didn't. And the Packers, they had a huge lead up against them, but the Packers came back to only beating them by, like, uh, 10-ish points. So they almost blew another lead, but they didn't. But that one could, that game could go either way, honestly, but I think the Falcons are going to win it. Next up, the Giants and the Eagles. I was pretty th- tossed up on this one. I was thinking about this one pretty uh, pretty lengthy. And I ended up going with the Giants. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was because Odell came back. Uh, I think the Giants are due for a win. They're like 0-2. They lost to the Cowboys. They, lo- they lost to the Lions. They definitely have potential to beat the Eagles. The Eagles have had potential to beat the Giants. I just think the Giants can make this win, especially with Odell now back. I'd say the Giants will win that game. Next up, we have the Seahawks and the Titans. I have the Seahawks winning that one. Um, yeah, the Seahawks haven't done anything special yet. Uh, they lost to the Packers. They didn't beat the 49ers by all that much in the 49ers or the 49ers. The Titans are looking like an alright team, so I don't know, maybe the Titans can pull that one off, but I just think the Seahawks 
elite defense. I think they can get that. I hope Russell Wilson does big things because he's on my fantasy team and I want him to do big things. But it all ends up, I think the Seahawks will win that one. Next up, Chiefs and Chargers. I'm going with the Chiefs. The Chiefs are on a streak with Kareem Hunt. Uh, They beat the Patriots. They beat the Eagles. And now they're going to place their division rival, the Chargers. I have the Chiefs because last time I picked the Chargers, they lost to the Dolphins. So, yeah, that's where you get Chargers. You lose my trust, I'm not picking it again. No, I'm kidding. I might pick the Chargers sometime if I think they're going to win it. But I honestly just don't think they're going to win this. I think the Chiefs are a better team and they are going to win it. Next up. The Bengals and the Packers. I have the Packers. The Bengals look like absolute crap right now uh, after getting blown out by the Ravens. And what other game did they lose? They lost last week. Oh, they lost to the Texans. Um, that was the closest game, but, you know, it wasn't anything that that notable. But, yeah, the Packers are the Packers. So the Packers are winning that. And, yeah, screw the Bengals. I hate the Bengals. Next up, Raiders and the Redskins. I have the Raiders. The Raiders look elite right now. The Redskins, yeah, they they they're not looking like the best team. Uh, I I just don't see them winning that matchup at all. I see the Raiders every day of the week in that one. Not really anything to say about that. Just Raiders have the better team, better roster. Raiders, I think, are winning that one. Then the last game, Monday Night Football. We have the Cowboys and the Cardinals. I have the Cowboys winning this one. The Cardinals just barely beat Andrew Luckless Colts. And the Cowboys, you know, they have Dak. They have uh, Ezekiel Elliott. Even though Ezekiel Elliott didn't really do much so far. Um, they still, they beat the Giants, and they, they did lose to the Broncos, but the Broncos are an alright team, they have a pretty good defense, um, and an alright offense, they just, they really need a quarterback, I mean, Trevor Simeon's not that bad, but he's just really not, like, starter material, at least in my opinion. Anyway, that, that's besides the point. The point is, I think the Cowboys are gonna beat the Cardinals, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens, what the results are. Those are my picks for this week. Let's run through them really, really quickly. I have the Rams winning against the 49ers, the Ravens winning against the Jaguars, the Broncos winning against the Bills, the Steelers being the Bears, the Panthers being the Saints, the Buccaneers being the Vikings, the Browns beating the Colts, the Dolphins beating the Jets, the Patriots beating being the Texans, the Falcons being the Lions, the Giants being the Eagles, the Seahawks being the Titans, the Chiefs being the Chiefs, uh, the Chiefs being the Chargers, the Packers being the Bengals, the Raiders being the Redskins, and the Cowboys being the Cardinals. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I butchered any of that. I was trying to go really fast, and I kind of stumbled and stuttered. So, yeah, if you want to hear those again, just watch back the video, because that was not a good idea. <laughs> anyway. Thank you guys for watching this week. Uh, I'll see you next week for how we did, um, how, how how I did for these pickings. Um, and then my week four pickings. I will be doing this every week up until week 16. And then I will be doing one for the playoffs and the Super Bowl. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video you watch of me. Goodbye.